56. <laughs> and uh, myself and uh, a little bit now, Paddy Moriarty of Kilarglan, uh, Paddy Callahan of Kilarglan, Paddy Moriarty Tralee, Johnny Switzer Tralee, and uh, Jean Mangan. And uh, we assembled there to, to along the, after we'd been held up by the RUC for, I'd say, the most of an hour or two, and uh, threatened and, and, and uh, that we'd be left going no further. So we assembled, we got on our bikes again and we were left proceed. And uh, we went about 10 miles away, I think, was a place called Cookstown. And as we were passing through Cookstown, the RUC were waiting for us. And they had a line of RUC people across the road, across the street. And they made us dismount our bikes and get through. They had just one gap in the line of policemen across the road. And they made us go through one by one get off our bikes and go through one by one. And to, we were stopped in when we were at the other side waiting for all the other lads to come across. And then what started the trouble, there was a lot of onlookers there, mostly from the other side, the Protestant side, and one or two of them started to throw bottles. And then there was a free-for-all that went on for, you know, half an hour that way. He, uh, he, he stayed in some house above, you might describe the staying in the house. And oh, how yeah. he recognised... That was a safe house oh, to yeah. be in. Yeah, well, after after the confrontation in in that place, we uh, were assembled into our vans and cars and we proceeded to, um, to Nuri and uh, where we were staying overnight. And we were allocated um, the people there. Uh, the cycling had very little funds, but the nationalist population there had arranged to put up all the cyclists in different houses. And uh, Jimmy Lee and myself were allocated a certain house. And we were wondering, were we, were we in the right side of the town when when we were going into this house? And I always remember Jimmy said, you know, as we got inside the front door, I was still a bit wondering about, is, are we in the right place? So Jimmy pointed to, De Valera was in a picture at one side of the hall. And the sacred heart was on the other side. Jimmy said to me, we're okay here. You know, which we were, people looked after us great. And uh, we heard that night then that was, um, it was in the RT news, the radio news about the trouble in the north and the cyclists. And uh, some of the lads were worried about, <laughs> their parents worrying about them. So, uh, but we enjoyed it. Getting on to the 1976 stint was significant in that uh, it was finishing in Lestol. The committee that you can remember that were active at the time in Lestol in organising the uh, event in Lestol. There'd be Jean Moriarty, Jerome Murphy, Sean O'Brien. There were two Dylan men from uh, Dua, myself and... Um, that would be lo- that would be the most of it. I'd say you'd had the Moriarty Jean and the sons, and uh, the O'Briens, and uh, the Dillons. So a small enough group, like in North Kerry, then like, a lot of you were associated with DSP. There was yourself from Glenow, and to- Pat Moriarty, Billy Langford, Terry Carmody, Billy Bunnan, who was a very good cyclist, and. Uh, uh, that was about it. Oh, Joe Bile. Bile, yeah, Joe Bile from HD. Joe, who Johnny, since did, God rest him. And then Johnny Switzer and Johnny Dave S- Leahy. Johnny Switzer and Jimmy Leahy in Tralee with the, in DSB. And um, you had, uh, we had great support from DSB in Tralee. Yeah, even our bosses give us good support in, in the line of time off and for competing and s- stuff like that. And we had a, a supervisor in Tralee, Cartman, Tom Collins, who... We had the full use of his car. He drove us everywhere, races all over the place, to Cork, Limerick, Tipperary. We, we, Clanmel was a strong hold that time of cycling. We used to go there fairly often. And um, uh, Bantry, actually, was a place we used to go for cycle racing. So we had a, we had a good time. And tell me about, uh, you said you had a photograph with Ben McKenna. Tell me about Ben McKenna. What was his role? Yeah. I became friendly with Ben McKenna. He was from County Meath, and he in the Ross Halton I competed. And it was Ben's first uh, Ross Halton as well. We were the same age, and uh, I remember particularly the Ring of Kerry race. I was with him for the whole day, and it was an awful day of rain. And we became very friendly after that. And uh, I met him years then later. He had joined the guards, and he was a sergeant, and he he used come with the Ross Halton and he was here the year that was it stopped in the stall and he was on a motorbike and he was in charge of the control of the traffic and you had a couple of other policemen there as well and uh, Bin was a fine character 
And unfortunately, years later, I was a son of mine lives up there now, and uh, I started to inquire where was Bin McKenna, where did he live here? So unfortunately, he had died the year before. So um, he was a great cyclist. Uh, Joe Crystal, then you said his brother was killed in Tralee. What year was that? Have you any idea? I'll just tell about that. Well, he, he, uh, Joe McChrystal was the was the the head head honcho in the cycle race, and he had a few of his brothers. And uh, the, uh, one brother, the youngest brother in the family, was competing in the race, and he had another brother who was uh, helping out with the, uh, on a motorbike with the race. And when they arrived in Tralee, most of the people were in. And um, uh, his brother, who was the youngest member of the family, they were waiting for him to finish the race. And uh, they just, uh, the brother on the motorbike said he'll go out the road in case he got punctured or something like that. And he was going out the road against him. And up at Clash Cross, he, he, had, he, went, he had a headlong crash into a car and he was killed instantly. And, uh, of course, all the crystals did. It was a sad night for them and they, and, uh, they pulled out of, the, out of the race and they... As, Joe, the official, pulled out and uh, uh, at their request the race continued. Okay, thanks, John.